Okay, next question here. What is the difference between a preferred walk-on, a recruited walk-on, and just a walk-on? And are there any advantages to one over the other? Well, start with your first one. The preferred walk-on is someone who probably was a high level at the right now is a high level division three player or a really good division two player whose grades might be stronger than most division two schools and would match division three schools. And usually a high level division three player can be a good walk on in a high major basketball program. Um, given the fact they understand why they're there, they're there to make the other players better as you get better and perhaps maybe one day have an opportunity to step on the court, maybe. Um, so I say the preferred walk on is someone who can actually play college basketball at some level at a good degree, but maybe not at the highest level, but they can help a team get better. A recruited walk on is someone kind of in that mix between preferred walk on and walk on is we, we think you're good, but we're not quite sure. Mm. And maybe again, like my, the previous question is maybe you're physically, you might get beat up, you know, in a practice, physically because the other guys are bigger and stronger but after a year of being there you might get nice and strong you already can play you have a good skill set and now you may be able to really compete with those higher level players in practice not for game time but be able to compete and impact the program a walk-on is typically someone who just wants to be a part of a program was it maybe a good high school basketball player or prep school basketball player knows that they probably wouldn't step foot in a game at the college at any level but they want to be around a team and help a team. And that type of walk-on might not even touch the court in practice. He might be almost like a glorified manager who also is able to get on the court as an extra player when needed. So I would think those are the, the big differences between the three. So preferred walk-on, if I'm understanding this correctly, they're a high-level D3 player. They've got good grades. They know going in they might not ever touch the floor. But a recruited walk-on, there might be a chance if he develops with like a redshirt year and whatnot to potentially get a scholarship in maybe minutes. Is that, is it's that possible, correct? possible, yeah. And then the prefer, but also the preferred walk on is someone, you know, I've had college coaches take some of my guys like that and saying, hey, in two years, he'll be good enough to go and play in this conference. You know, so we're going to get him better. He's going to help our program. But if he wants to leave, he'll probably be good enough to be able to go and play at this lower major conference. And so we can help him that way. So it's all sorts of ways to skin the cat. Gotcha. Okay. But the biggest piece for all walk-ons is you have to have the mindset that you're there to help everyone else right. as you work on your game, get better. And actually the expectation is for you to be in the gym almost more than the guys on scholarship because you're going to draw them to the gym to work out and get extra shots. So it's a lot of work to be a walk-on. Walk-ons, there's no glory in it, mm -hmm. you know, but the glory in it is helping your team get better. Right.